thus saith the Lord God, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land, and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right, so. Okay, I'm going to give all praise and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakadash. I want to thank the Heavenly Father for the Akim, the brothers, the teachers, the elders, um, that's teaching in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. I'm going to open up with the book of uh, Numbers, chapter 24, and verse 17, and it reads, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nay. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. That scepter is Yahweh, and that star, and shall smite the corners of Mohad. Mohad is a so-called Chinese in North Korea, South Korea. And destroy all the children of Seth. Verse 18. And Edom shall be a possession. And Seir also shall be a possession. For his enemies. And Israel shall do valiantly. Verse 19. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion. And shall destroy him that remaineth of the cities of the city. Verse 20. And when he looked on Amalek, because Edom is the so called white man, those are the Edomites. Amalek are the Ish people that's over in Israel right now, the 1948ers, we call them. The fake Jews. Okay? The fake Jews. Referencing to Revelations chapter 2 verse 9. Revelations chapter 3 verse 9. He took up this parable and said Amalek was the first of the nations because they own the news broadcast uh, fake media. Okay. They own the music industry. Hollywood. Hollywood's. Okay, those vampires over there that's, that drink uh, adrenochrome. Okay, that's why all the little children are missing. And also uh, uh, over 480,000 so-called blacks come up missing yearly. Okay, go to McDonald's. All right, don't dig on the recipe. You better be careful. But his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Okay, let's get that forever. Let's go to the book of Obadiah. One, it's only one chapter. And we'll read verse 18. Okay. In a minute, I'm old school with the, with the book. All praise to Yahweh. Okay, I got this video from one of the brothers, uh, GMS, the lovely brothers uh, that teach out uh, in Birmingham, Alabama. Book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 18, and it reads, 
and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. I'm going to end it there and say, Shalom.